to create your um, base drawing for your um, Picasso portrait, you're going to consult um, a image by Pablo Picasso, one of his portraits, uh, and you're going to combine it with uh, an outside shape. So you can select one of the outside shapes from the roll of Picasso, uh, decide which one you want. So I'm going to like choose this one right here, and then simply come in and draw it to fill the page. Okay, so I have the outside shape there, and then what I want to do is select one of the Picassos, and this could be from the slideshow, but for the ease of this video, I'm going to just pick this one right here, and then I'm going to start thinking about what did he do to break down that shape. So I can see the first thing that he did was he came in and he made a profile nose. It has two dots there. Now I'm not drawing exactly what he has, but what I am doing is taking um, the ways that he divided the face, and I am going to move those into uh, this drawing. And so then I can see that he has some shoulders here, and then uh, this kind of hat coming up off the top. So it's like here. And then there's this right there. And uh, and then there's hair coming down. And there's also hair coming out here. So what that has allowed me to do is divide my page up um, in a way that I've activ activated the entire page. So I'm going to come in here. And then I will just use my marker and outline each of these things. And I don't have to be exactly on top of the line because I'm going to erase those lines. But what you want to do is for this um, design, you want to make sure that you're filling the entire page. So I'm going to come in here and I'll just erase the pencil marks so that I'm left with just the um, Sharpie marker. And you do want to use the Sharpie marker. Don't use one of the uh, Crayola ones. You do need uh, the uh, alcohol base marker so it doesn't smudge around. So then uh, you can see here I have cut out uh, my features from my worksheet. I've cut around them. And now I can start thinking about how do I want to arrange my portrait. I'll glue them down. As you're adding color to your piece, uh, you're going to have a few different ways that you can apply color. I do recommend that you uh, start by putting some light washes of watercolor down. Uh, then you can uh, use the marker um, straight up to uh, create a more solid, uh, intense version of color. Uh, and then you can work into it with colored pencil. So I'm adding these, and this could be any piece of plastic, onto the surface. And then I'm going to simply add water. Now this is where you can come in, and I'm looking at this Picasso piece, and I'm like, well, I'm not so crazy about that color. I might choose the colors from this one here, because I think that that's a little bit more interesting. But I will keep the green background. So I'm going to come in here, and this allows you to get intermediate colors. Uh, and it covers the surface a little bit faster than if you were trying to do that with colored pencil. So just come in there and I'm going to just fill this in. And then I will uh, continue to add color to fill all of the details of the face, thinking about um, whatever uh, reference photo I want to use to uh, fill in the colors in an interesting way. Once you have your base colors, then you can go in with the uh, markers as they are, and you can decide to bring out uh, different details in the face with more saturation. 
So it's going to give you the opportunity to uh, further um, emphasize uh, an area in the portrait with a brighter, more um, vibrant color uh, in contrast to the ones that are a little bit lighter. So you can go and mix that up. You can also come in with your colored pencils and start adding um, colors in different places. Um, and that can also add pattern and texture and a sense of value. So like you can make one area darker than another. So you're just going to come in there and um, use those in combination with the markers that you have on the surface uh, and pull out any of the details that you want to stand out. And that is basically what you want to do.